Is he recording? Yeah, I need to get my presentation started. I recorded him too. All right, wherever you are. Okay. Um, my name is Isabel Cantianos, and I did Martin Luther King Jr. And I did Negan from The Walking Dead. Yes, sir. Okay, so Martin Luther King Jr. was a was a black preacher. Oh, sorry, a black preacher in uh, like I want to say nineteen forty, and he and he really didn't he, he didn't support the violence because of his past your way and he's a Christian, he doesn't believe in violence, he thinks that if everything should be talked out. And so um, in 1950 when, yes, 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 in 1950 when um, Rosewood Parks, just after she got arrested, pe people, the black people turned to him as he was, he was like the next qualified, um, or he had the qualifications of leading in intelligence of what they could do to help them be recognized and help them um, and help them be more recognized and help them have equal rights. So that's what he did. He believed in violence, he did peaceful protests, and all in all that gave him, and he was arrested more than 30 times, and that did not stop him from doing what's right, for fighting, for, all black people to have a voice and to have equal rights, rights and all. And that led him to the signing of both the Act and Voting Rights in 1965. He was actually in the room when, he, when they signed it. So, yeah. And, hang on. The, um, that's his personality. His personalities are intelligence. Um, he is self-confident and determined. And determined to always do what's right and to not let his anger get the best of him. Yes, get the best of him. Thank you. And yeah, that's it. That's it for me. Okay, so I did Negan Smith from The Walking Dead, and like a little backstory about him is he was like a gym teacher before the zombie apocalypse, and then he turned out to be like a, a really big, mean leader. And like he wasn't always like that, but his wife had cancer and then she died, so it turned him to be bad. And um, he was an authoritarian leader because he would make almost like every decision by himself without like asking his group what he wanted to do. And um, he would lead his group, the Saviors, which they called themselves, like into wars without even asking anyone. All right. And then what he would do, like some antics, was um, he had many wives throughout the show. <laughs> and um, we were able to see six of them. And there's a picture of them. And then uh, he had many more, it's just they weren't all shown there. And, um, and then he had a lot of confidence, which is pretty, like an authoritarian trait. And um, he thought he was better than everyone else. And oftentimes he would make people kneel before him, like showing that picture. And even his own members and group members. 